cutting the crown is where people get tripped up because you think either you put it down like this or you hold it like this at an angle. But the actual way, because this is the bottom of the crown, the actual way to cut it is upside down. So if you picture this is your ceiling and this is your wall and you want to hold this where this right here, top of the crown and your ceiling is at a 90 degree angle. Something a little like that. And that's how you want to make all of your cuts, except for a straight cut. You can cut it just like that. So I have some scrap crown that I'm gonna cut all of my pieces that are gonna be used to match up all of the different angles and joints. So, like I said, this is the ceiling. This is the top of the crown. We're gonna do a 45 degree angle to start. So turn this to 45 degrees, hold your crown like this, look down the side of it to help you out and cut it. There's one. 45 the other way. And now you have your outside 45 degree angle right here. Now 22.5. Again, upside down. This is your ceiling. So for an inside corner, you would go the opposite way we just did with the outside corner. This is for the inside corner. For a cope, you hold it the same way, but instead of doing a 45 this way, you do a 45 this way. And do it on the opposite side. Now you need to Cut this out, this whole profile right here. Sometimes if you take a pencil and just draw along here, let you see a little better where that profile is. And then you take a coping saw. That's what it's made for. And hold it at an angle like this and just cut all of this material out following this profile the whole way. Now you got something that looks a little something like this. So as an example, I'm going to be starting here. We'll say that this is my first piece. It actually needs to be trimmed a little bit, but this cope will tell you where that needs to be. This one is a little different where I'm going to have to play with, depending on where this was put before, it might not be perfect. And this cope doesn't need to be perfect. It's just a guide to tell you where this needs to go. So that actually looks pretty decent. So I know that I can nail this one if it's good here. Like I said, I do have to trim it. Now that I have all my pieces cut, I can use these and it's gonna take a lot of maneuvering when you put it up there. If it's not perfect the first time, you just might have to adjust the crown Move it this way, you might have to make another cut with it slightly adjusted. Sometimes the angle isn't perfect and doesn't work for your situation. I know it's not gonna be for mine, but it just takes a lot of patience. Trust me, crown is not easy. Keep trying, maneuver stuff around, make different cuts, get plenty of crown, and make it happen.